Oh, actually, Hansold can be a big challenge for this deck, too. If they manage to establish their uh, Archer army... Let's get that. This could be useful round three. This is a tough call. Because I don't really care about uh, winning round one. If I actually I want to lose round one, I would be most happy if, if he overcommitted to round one. And uh, somehow he just stole the victory, uh, stole the, uh, stole round one from me. What I want is him taking round one. So I guess we're just gonna play Melva. Uh, so I wanna narrowly lose round one. Three is annoying. I guess we're just gonna use a panther for this. We can't waste the lock. Too valuable. This guy figured out how to play this matchup. He's just playing garbage nothing. <laughs> He's not even hiding it. Um. Let's finish that off. Uh, we're just both playing complete garbage. That's not exactly how I wanted this to go, but not much happening here. I charge for that. It was nice sitting on a crap ton of charges. Now this is where I have to consider, do I really want to lose round 1? Because this guy is sitting on... Uh, 6 damage, so he would need to play 5 more points. Actually 6 more points with it. It's not that hard to do. But I don't want to use the lock. And I don't want to play the Dragoneer. I think we're just gonna pass. Again, I wanna lose round one. And if he pushes me round two, that that's gonna be just weird. That's oh, that's a lot of charges. Mr. Dragon. <laughs> kind of what I wanted. I know this looks very weird, but we are both long run decks. It would be nice to have a dwarf, but I'm kind of holding the cards here. Do I really? Okay, maybe we mulligan this. Perfect. Most likely he's gonna pass. Have you watched Ozark? I haven't seen that. Those are blitz are a nightmare if not stuck. Lock the girl. Uh, that's why we might actually play, actually keep the planker. What do you guys think? Do we keep a smuggler or a planker? Because if we keep the planker, that can actually one shot an archer. But we actually have a lock for an archer. This could help against the archer. But we don't have the Panther anymore. And we don't have Milan right now either. And these gonna get shut down pretty hard. Nah, this is fine. All he needs to do is just play in the range row, so... 
We're not gonna assume that he's a noob. That's not a strategy. Also, the tree can help. Now, this is pretty decent. Oh, that's amazing. So, we can get out Milan. Uh, let's say ya. Yeah. Okay. We start with Fav playing in the front. And not using the hero power. Because we want the Milan out of it. So we might go lock Milan to kill something. That's smart that he kept it. But those are not high priority. And I'm not gonna get a, a Milan for them. Uh, we don't have an extra Dryad. We have no Dwarf, so Sasuke is actually bad here. We can play Antibear, which is a uh, removal. I suppose we can establish that. Again, not playing Milan. Who cares about Arbalest? Can't hit anything if oh, he plays Artifacts. I don't know. So that's the one that gets locked. And that's the one that gets killed. Technically, Pafko would have been a, a little bit better for that role. Mm. Oh, we got to limit the amount of cards we're going to have in the melee row. But I suppose I'm going to still throw Pafko there. I don't want to play in the range row. Uh, I can't blow that up. It's a little annoying. Oh, yeah. I guess we're just gonna hit the Lyrian Cavalry. Are you not playing Sheldon? Oh yeah, I actually forgot to show my deck, right? I guess I guess I accidentally showed it many times, but not intentionally. It doesn't have a target. I can't kill that, but if we play Saskia, then we will have a, a kill on the Cat Van Wiederganger. Oh, he's, he's boosting it, but that's actually not gonna save it, unless he can boost it even more. And he currently doesn't have a target. Watch for Bess. He doesn't have a target right now. One thing we can do is just kill that with the tree. It's already almost max value. I really want to be greedy and play a smuggler first. I can get punished for that. Ultimately, I can also kill the botchling. Sure, if I, if I didn't more seriously consider that.
No. Fuck me. Now that would be nice to play last. In hindsight. I can't target himself, so I suppose I still keep killing it. Thing has charge. Okay. A lesser it could be annoying. Hopefully it doesn't have that. Why are you not playing Sheldon? Um, after he got nerfed, he's really hard to fit in. And you can have this bomb last round, but that's not really how you win. And it costs a lot to put him in. You gotta have, like, you might wanna have the, the boosted dwarfs in there, the agitators. Uh, you also wanna have, uh, you wanna spend 11 points to boost him by 4. So it's just really hard to fit him in, and I'm not convinced it's worth it. And that's a win, ladies and gentlemen. Hansolt had no chance. Partially because we shut down his archers. And we probably should have considered uh, nuking his botchling uh, earlier. Well played. So Arda can steal a 5 strength unit. Which could be a bore. Can be many things. Arda is usually pretty scary. This is an okay hand. I might even keep it. I don't think that would be better, is like maybe getting out the Tinder Dwarfs. Okay, he has a crap ton of tactics cards. Maybe he has a lot of damage. Messed up a little bit. The problem here is that it's just gonna shut me down super hard. Okay. Let's play a dryad. I can't play a 5. Just anywhere. So we have a choice between passing now, with 12 points down. Or trying to win. This is still a good choice, but it can't get killed so easily. I want to play Saskia, but in the middle of the first row. Five or six point Arda. Five, uh, five point Arda. Eighteen points behind. Gotta do it in two cards. It cannot be done. The only saving grace here is that he played Roach and uh, uh, Doggy Face. Which could give me an edge round two. Again, the plan is the same. If he goes down to 6 cards v5. Okay, let's just say yeah. This points you better chance in long round 3. Well, long round 3 is the default uh, option. God, I'm getting hosted by everybody. 
Gravekeeper, thanks for the host. And welcome, you guys. The thing is, I, I usually also uh, call it quits, like one hour ago. I'm streaming a little bit longer now, because this is fun. Move something to my library. Ew. What are my crappy cards? Move it there. I guess we're just gonna play a dwarf. Four point triads. Sure. Yeah, these top decks are not the best. This triad showed up for sure. Ah, that is painful. So if we mulligan, there's a chance that we get one of the dwarves, or... This is not great. Good night, Jim. Do I really mulligan here? I think we gotta mulligan this. Kinda too risky to have it. Wow, we actually went up to 7. That's pretty sweet. There's nothing I really want to get out now. Maybe I just go another Dryad. Dryad, Dryad, Dryad. Because we can't get out the tree. Let's go with that. Oh. Keep the Dana dream alive. I don't think I want to get out the Dryad right now. It's not a dream, it's happening, guys. What are you talking about, dream? But this is, this is tough. Seems like we ran into a little bit tougher opponents here. They love control. Uh, I don't have the lot for that. I can play the, uh, the, the dwarf. And I don't have a dwarf in hand. And that could be a, a kill. Next turn. If I have a little bit of follow up. If I play this, he's just gonna steal it, right? If I play this, he's gonna steal that as well. He just likes stealing. If I play... <laughs> no! Anything I play, he's gonna steal. I can just like double poison the, the boar, but this is not the best time. Maybe this is a good choice anyway. Because if he steals it, it's not going to be that valuable for him. Let's do that. Enter into Milan, maybe? Actually, we could have played Saskia somewhere else. I don't know. But Saskia was not that good anyway. So, we get out one of the dwarves. No, we get out the dryad. It's kind of the same thing. Getting out the dryad first or getting out the dwarf first. It's kind of the same thing. I like get out the door first. And I suppose I'm gonna put a bunch of trash on the sides. So maybe they don't get blown up instantly. 
But this is gonna be stolen. You're just gonna steal it. Fine. We lost. Did we lost though? This is tough. I know this is very uncomfortable to play because they all like, I'm gonna spam removal at you. But I played a lot of matchups like this. It's not hopeless. Hmm. You always gonna blow me up? I might just play the tree and boar, I might just go with the panther. Okay. The panther is a guaranteed solution. Do I want to do it now? Tough call. I guess we gotta shut down Pafko. Let's, let's shut down Pafko. Oh, no! That's a square tower unit. We can't do it. The plan was wrong all along. Okay, let's just go with the boar. Boar is a square tower unit. He's a traitor! Can't kill him. Come on. At least I could uh, undo the plan. Nothing else we can use me over. As long as Pafko doesn't kill anything, we're fine. Oh, come on. Wait, what? This moves in. I just say we kill Pafko. We're not gonna wait for the trap. We play in the back. Try out a bunch of damage. Maybe Pafku is gonna live? Who knows? Crazier things have happened. God. That's a square tail unit! <laughs> Stop stealing my stuff! Oh, we can't boost the... the... Panther anyway, so might as well go with Barnabas. Can boost that. That's not completely hopeless. But I'm basically playing the guy who just like tries to keep his board in order against the man who just like tries to kill, tries to burn the, the entire world. You just all control versus value generation here. All, all the value generation he has is just the one he stole from me. Hopefully he doesn't have anti-artifact thingy. Nope, he doesn't have it! GG. Tough fight. Very uncomfortable to, to, uh, to fight uh, games like this because you have your back to the wall and you just get hit all the time, but then at the end like, Hey, what's up? I was winning all the time. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'll fight long. Yeah, GG.